At the name of Jesus, the Bible tells us even demons tremble because they know and believe that he is the Son of God. They even tremble. At the name of Jesus, the Bible tells us that one day every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And we have a choice, my friends, this morning. Our choice is this. Because one day, we are all going to bow before Jesus and proclaim he is Lord. And that verse is recorded for us at the consummation and the, or the end of, of this present age when Jesus sits on the throne and people bow before him. And we have a choice, and the choice is this. We can bow now to Jesus, or we can bow when we see him as our judge. If we bow now, then when we stand before God in heaven one day, Jesus becomes our advocate. He becomes our lawyer. The Bible explains this to us, and he becomes the one who stands on our behalf, and he says to Father God, not him, not her, look, they're mine, they belong to me. And we are told that the Bible says, enter freely into God's kingdom. Come in to the heavenly realm. Come into this place that you've so desired to be in. But for those, and this is the harsh truth, and again, if you don't know Jesus, this will offend you, but I'd rather tell you the truth than give you a half-truth, and a half-truth is a whole lie. And the truth of the matter is this, that if we've never asked Jesus into our life, then we will discover that we will stand on that day before God, and he will cast us away from his presence. Because we are not covered, we do not have the mark of Jesus on us, we don't have his blood, we don't have the family resemblance. And so this morning, my friends, on this Easter Sunday, I want to invite you to ask Jesus into your life. To ask him to come in. And you might say, Keith, I've been coming to church for 20 years or more. You may never have asked Jesus into your life. You might say, Keith, this is my first time in this church. It's now called Life Church. I haven't kept up. I didn't know that we were going to do YMCA in church. I didn't know that all these strange things were going to happen in church this morning. But here I am anyway. My friends, it doesn't matter if this is your first visit to Life Church or this is where you've been coming with your family for decades. It doesn't matter. One day I will stand before Jesus. He's not going to say to me, did I go to Life Church? He's going to say, did you accept me into your life? And that's the question. That's the question. That is the biggest question that can ever be asked. Douglas Adams wrote The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and said the answer was 42. That's not even an answer. That's a parody. It's nothing but the truth here this morning. My friends, I'm going to invite you to say a prayer with me. Some of you have been in church long enough to know how this works. We're just going to ask everyone to bow your eyes, uh, bow your eyes, bow your head, and close your eyes. I'm going to say close your head. That would be clever. You go see those blue people at WH Smurf. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Just in a, in a second or two, I'm going to say a prayer. And if you want to ask Jesus into your life this morning, say these words quietly after me. And then I'm going to ask you. I'm telling you what I'm doing up front before you commit to anything. And then I'm going to ask you in a moment's time just to wave at me when you've uh, said this prayer with me, if you've said it with me. And we'll make sure that you get some material to help you in your Christian walk and welcome you into God's family. If you want to ask Jesus into your life this morning, the risen Jesus, pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you that you love me. Thank you for dying for me. Thank you for being risen. That I can trust you. That I can have confidence in you. Come into my life now. Forgive me of my sins. Make me a new person. Let all the torments within me stop. And give me your peace. I give my life to you from this moment on. In Jesus' name. Amen.